Maria Kapetsis, luxury real estate broker with Douglas Salmon Real Estate. I've been getting a lot of requests to make videos on YouTube. It's like the new thing that's going on. I mean, I'm only 40 years old. Actually, I just turned 41, wow. Um, so I just turned 41 years old and I feel like I'm so out of the loop because I don't have uh, my YouTube set up and I don't do these videos and I'm usually so busy that I don't have time to do them. But we are in the middle of a pandemic and I said, hey, you know what? This is a good time to start. And I thought the right way to come on is introducing myself and where I've been and how I got here and where I come from. So I am uh, of Greek descent, uh, as you know by my last name. Uh, I was born in Argentina, Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I grew up there until I was about four years old. We moved to America, we moved to Bayside, Queens, uh, my parents, my grandmother, and my brother. And uh, we lived in my aunt's house for many years, and uh, they still live there actually. And uh, we moved to Long Island, I was in third grade, and uh, loved it. I mean, I loved Long Island. It was the best, you know, especially growing up in Bayside, Queens, where you can't even ride your bike without somebody being with you. To move to Salisbury, Long Island, it was unbelievable. And I loved living there, and I made a lot of friends in the neighborhood, and by the time I was 12 years old, I was working at East Meadow Farms because I wanted money and I wanted to be able to buy certain things and live a certain lifestyle at 12 years old. So I did and uh, I worked there for five years. Uh, my summer of, I guess, my summer going into 12th grade, I found a job at a law firm through my ex-boyfriend's cousin who worked there and she told me they were hiring in their mailroom and if I wanted to put in a resume. And I had no idea how to do a resume, so I figured it out through going to the library and pulling out a library book, if you can believe that, on how to type up a resume. And um, I applied to multiple law firms. I was able to get a call back. I was able to start working because I spoke Spanish and Greek. And uh, I moved up four times in that law firm. And I loved that job, and I'm still in touch with a lot of the people that are there. And uh, I realized that I wasn't getting paid enough because I started with a low salary, so I decided to look for another job. And I found a position uh, as a, as a, actually, I'm sorry, I left that apart. I went to school and I was able to get a paralegal certificate and actually um, get most of my credits for my undergrad for law school because that's kind of where I wanted to be, is be an attorney. Uh, until I realized that I was going to have about $150,000 worth of debt and uh, I couldn't pay that back in even 20 years probably at that time in my state of mind. So I decided to look for another job with my paralegal certificate and um, it was paying more to be an office manager than a paralegal on Long Island at the time. This is in 2001. So I landed a pretty good job as an office manager slash paralegal and I worked there from 2001 to 2006. Now in 2000, at the end of 2001, I was working at a corporate law firm and I don't wanna say names on here, I'm so tempted to say their names, but for their privacy, I don't want to disclose that. Um, but I left that firm uh, to go into real estate in 2006. I learned so much in those years of working there that I can't even tell you. I, I have so, I'm have so grateful to my boss at the time because he really taught me a lot and he showed me every aspect of the business which helped me tremendously in building my own business. So thank you for that. If he ever watches this video, he knows who he is. And um, you know, I was uh, doing it part-time for about four years until I thought I was strong enough to become a full-time real estate broker or agent at the time, I was still an agent, I believe. I think I got my broker's license in 2009. Um, so 2006, I went into full-time real estate and I could not believe that the market crashed. And the market, you know, we had that great recession and it was a very scary time, uh, but I survived it, thank God. And I started doing short sales. I was able to save over 200 families from foreclosure, which was, unbelievably rewarding uh, besides the fact that I was getting paid a higher commission from the banks than what sellers were paying at the time I was actually helping homeowners get out of foreclosure and saving people's credit and saving people's lives pretty much because their children would have been homeless I, it was a nightmare going on and uh, so that was amazing and of course I got buyers some tremendous deals during that time I still speak to most of my buyers and sellers from that era I call it um, 
And a lot of those uh, sellers that were short sailors ended up buying regular homes and live a normal life now, thank God, that they didn't have to go to foreclosure. So um, fast forward from there, during my time at Coldwell Banker, I was working at Keystone Realty when I was part-time. When I was thinking of coming into the business full-time, I knew I had to go with a more predominant law firm, uh, excuse me, not law firm, a more predominant uh, real estate firm. And I ended up going to Coldwell Banker after interviewing a few. Uh, they were great, um, but we had a new office manager and she frowned upon me being an, a Syosset agent and servicing short sales. Um, pretty much 50% of our business dropped out of the business because they had that mentality. So I quickly started looking for another home after being with them almost six years, or I think six and a half years. <clears throat> and I uh, interviewed 16 different real estate firms on Long Island. I mean, I really took my time because I'm not the type that moves around. So I wanted to make sure it was my permanent home. And boy, has it been my permanent home. Uh, I moved to Prudential at the time, and Prudential was a nice Long Island firm. They were starting to have a little bit of a, of a New York presence, um, and we merged during that time with uh, Elliman, uh, Douglas Elliman. So it was Prudential Douglas Elliman for a while. I came over to them in 2011, so I've been with the company, I guess, nine years now, and it's been the best nine years of my whole career. Uh, Company-wise, an amazing company uh, what they give us as real estate brokers and agents tools is unbelievable I love them so much that I'm actually with them in both New York and Florida uh, because I feel it's important to stick with a company a brand and most importantly a concept because every real estate firm has a concept that they go by and ours is just at the you know highest degree of professionalism integrity uh, our work is impeccable uh, you know you're going through the mls and looking through listings you know when you come across a douglas element listing it's probably one of the nicest ones that you're looking at uh, it's just our presentation our marketing uh, the way we are trained as as agents and brokers in the company it's unbelievable so um, I've been with Douglas Elliman for now nine years. I've shifted the business from a short sale foreclosure market to the luxury market. I've done a tremendous amount of luxury sales and I've succeeded where others have failed. And it's because of a different approach, which I will have time to create new videos. I'll need content, guys, so I have to save some for another day. But um, that's a brief synopsis of me. I have, luckily, uh, my parents are both well, healthy, and uh, they live in Boca Raton. I also have my brother, my niece, my nephew, and my sister-in-law, who also live in Boca Raton. And uh, I am not married. Um, I don't think I would be able to run the business that I run being married with children, but um, I, I prefer to live this life. And, uh, you know, people ask me, well, you know, do you want to get married? Do you want me to introduce you to someone? I don't, thank you. Um, I've had my good share of relationships and I've uh, decided that this is the way to be, is uh, independent, free, and able to really put my all into my business, which is why my clients do get 100%. Uh, they actually get above 100%. So um, I live both in New York and in Florida. So in New York, I live in Nassau County, and I've lived in the same home since 2008. In Florida, I live in Sunny Isles Beach, and uh, like I said, my parents live in Boca, so I do service uh, all the way up to Boca, Delray, Boynton Beach areas. And, um, you know, Sunny Isles Beach is, of course, my number one. I will make some videos on Sunny Isles Beach. I'll explain to you how I ended up falling in love with the city. And um, I started coming to Sunny Isles Beach in 2009, I want to say, is when I discovered it. And I have vacationed uh, in Sunny Isles Beach since until I finally made the move. So I do live in both locations. I am a full-time real estate broker in both locations. And um, if you know anyone looking to buy or sell uh, in either New York or in Southeast Florida, please absolutely keep me in mind. I can also help you transition. A lot of clients from New York moved to Florida and uh, that's how I ended up getting my real estate license because I was sending a ton of business to Florida agents and a lot of them uh, were not being as responsive or as receptive or as hardworking as, uh, you know, 
us New Yorkers expect things. So I have the New York mentality in South Florida, which helps a lot, especially to my New York uh, buyers and uh, even sellers here that are New Yorkers. It's very tough for them to deal with an agent, a typical agent in Miami, and I'm sorry if any agents watch this, it's absolutely no offense to you, but I've dealt with this for the last three and a half years now, is agents show up 25 to 30 minutes late and expect you to literally be there waiting for them. And I do because they have buyers with them and I don't want to do that on my listings, but I think that is just utterly ridiculous. I, I come from a city that is so full of traffic. The traffic here is a joke. It's no comparison to what's in New York and we make it to everything early, if not, you know, early on time. So <clears throat> it's a different uh, concept, the way people work in different states. Uh, if you go to Kansas, you're gonna see that those people can't work with a New Yorker because a New Yorker will absolutely drive them crazy. <laughs> so, um, you know, I am a very upbeat, fast moving agent. Um, if my client asks for something, I deliver. I try to deliver same day if I can. Uh, if I know that the client is serious, I will absolutely uh, make myself available at their every, every moment of need. Uh, I live through it with you. It's not like I just throw you out and say, okay, you found the house, now you figure it out, you, you review your inspection, and if you like everything, call me. No, I, I do a whole different, and again, I need to save some content, so I will do that in another video. Uh, that's a brief synopsis of uh, basically how I got to this point. Uh, the thing I wanna point out to uh, my followers and my new subscribers will be that I didn't choose this career by choice. Uh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, let me correct that. I didn't choose this career by not having a choice. I chose this career by choice. I chose this career because this is what my passion was. As a little girl, I used to find, uh, back in my neighborhood, there was penny savers, and I used to find the open houses that were going on in the penny saver and ask my mom to take me to see them. Uh, I always loved large homes. I always loved luxury homes. I used to have pick out the biggest and baddest house, I used to call it, and we used to go check them out. And, and um, you know, this was my passion. So it's really my first career. I mean, law was truly my first career, but uh, I left law because it was either I was gonna become an attorney or I was gonna choose a different career path. And uh, I chose this career path at the young age of 21. Uh, it's not like I was in another business and failed or you know, decided to come into it at 60 years old like a lot of people do or because I've had children. No, this is my career because this is what I love to do. And I do this with genuine passion. And I hope that I can show you and your family and friends uh, just how different I am from the standard industry uh, feared agent that most people have this fear of agents that they're all just the same and we're not. Uh, I know many, many professional agents who are above and beyond um, you know, the standard. So if you know anyone at all looking to buy or sell in New York or Florida, Maria Cafetsis, right realtor for you, remember that. I am uh, all over social media. You can find me at Right Realtor For You on Instagram. You can find me at facebook.com backslash Right Realtor For You. You can find me on LinkedIn. And uh, you can, of course, find me here now on YouTube. And uh, you can reach me on either cell phone, 516-885-2525 or 305-773-5994. I look forward to servicing all your real estate needs, answering any questions you may have. Uh, even if you're in another state, you know, if I can help you and give you some advice, it'd be my pleasure to help you. So please do feel free to call me, text me, email me. My email address is right Realtor. that's R-I-G-H-T-R-E-A-L-T-O-R, the number four, the letter U, at gmail.com. And all those other right Realtor for yous are just like that. Um, so. I look forward to hearing from you and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little introduction.